battle for second place. We'll be back with the conclusion of stage one of this year's Tour of Britain after the break. Twenty-nine kilometres to go. It's getting uh, very, very near, isn't it? About 18 miles of racing left through this glorious, glorious uh, countryside before they're going to arrive here at the Norfolk Showground. A little bit more pressure being applied at the front now. One or two riders trying to get a little bit twitchy. They want to get involved. We've got a member there of the UK youth cycling team sitting second wheel. As uh, these little corrugations that the riders have to tackle, you can see, doesn't look too much, but the riders are all forced out of the saddle here as they are uh, approaching yet another of the drags. Yeah, getting to the end of the stage here, we can see the yellow jersey. Oh, there isn't the yellow jersey, the yellow car with Wigo. I think we're getting near to the final climb here, actually, uh, Robert uh, Swanton Morley. And uh, let me just tell you that Christian House has been first on the first two climbs at one at Snape at 24 kilometres and that at Westleton after 48 kilometres. So at the moment he's leading that competition comfortably and it looks like there's a bit of a challenge on here because he has been at the top of the first two first so he's got eight points and the same man has been second each time and that's uh, white ink of an post and these two have slipped away because the points for this third climb could decide the destiny of the king of the mountains jersey and it's christian house that's leading it out so this is the first sprint we've really seen of the race now then house is a wily sprinter former national road champion and he's got a good turn of speed so the uh, approach to the climb still continues uh, to unfold and obviously house is very concerned about whiting because whiting has got six points and christian house has got eight just two between them four for first on the climb three for second two for third one for fourth it's interesting this isn't it almost like a track stand cat and mouse and the other two riders have dropped off we saw uh there's one back now from uh, healthcare but uh Mateus, he seemed to have a problem i don't know if he was looking down at a wheel whether he punctured and wanted service he, he he won't be too concerned because he's not actually been going for these uh for these king of the mountains uh skoda king of the mountains classification points he's been going uh for the uh for the ig um, for the yodel sprints so it's johnny clark yeah johnny clark that came up to join them He's right on the front there, so it's Clark, House, and then it's uh, Whiting. Matos, he's actually pulled over on the side of the road, and we saw him just on the side of the road, obviously needing service, uh, needing to, to go back to his vehicle. So, again, he knows that this, uh, this group isn't going to be staying away today to the finish. So he's done his job for the day. He's happy. His uh, team director will certainly be happy. He's gone back into the safety of that peloton. Long run, isn't it? This to the finish, and now they're down to three. And the speed, of course, has come down dramatically here, hasn't it? Because look, it's only 50 seconds now the advantage. It really, really will start to tumble this time. Once, once the guys at the front, at the front of the peloton, start to to really inject the pace, which they haven't really done up to now. We can see there's a lot of riders across the road. They're all looking. They're all waiting. As you said there, you Team UK Youth there, one of the riders uh, just having a chat with big Magnus Backstead in there. Yeah, node for Giordano over to the left as well. Here's the sprint then for the final climb of the day. Christian House gets it on the line, so he picks up the four points. So it's a full house for Christian House. He has got 12 points, and that means that he will collect the Skoda King of the Mountains jersey on the podium at the end of the stage. But there was a lot of cat and mouse stuff there, wasn't there? And uh, a lot of respect being shown as well. Niels uh, Whiting, the Belgian on the Anpos team, he's just acknowledging the stronger man. These are the uh, final metres to the line, and Christian House, well, he proved that he was the stronger. So that's two jersey positions decided here at the finish on uh, stage one, and that is the Yodel Sprints competition. That'll go over the shoulders of uh, Ronnie and Matthias of Sauer Sochazon, the Frenchman, and at the King of the Mountains.